Hey guys, all right, so we got Nutella banana crepes on deck. So we got our ingredients here, and you can see that in the link below. We're gonna start off by mixing our wet ingredients. Look at how fast I am, look at that. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're mixing our eggs and our sugar. We're gonna add that to a well that we're gonna create in the middle of our AP flour. AP is just short for all purpose. No stress, no stress. All right, we're gonna add that in there. Such camera work. <laughs> we're gonna add our melted butter and this is salted if you guys don't have uh, salted butter let's say you got unsalted butter that's just fine just make sure you guys add a pinch of salt in there you want to balance your flavors out so we're adding our milk now all right and as you can see this batter is a little bit too thick this is looking more like a pancake batter right now um, if it had some leaveners in it such as baking powder or baking soda it would be a different scenario but we're not talking about that right now so we're gonna add some water look at that and no need to rinse that out, guys. That's why that water looks murky. No stress. All right. Keep it going. Keep it going. And you also want to make sure that you don't overmix. I know this looks extremely fast and over whipping, but I promise you it's not. Um, obviously, this is just sped up for the sake of time. Because we just want to, you know, give me the recipe and get the hell up out of here, right? <laughs> All right, now what you guys are looking for, if you were to stick a spoon in here and you were to pass it on the back of the spoon, you want to make sure that it doesn't spread anywhere. That's what the French like to call nappe when you're looking at uh, sauces, for example, for breaking. But for the purposes of this batter, you want to make sure that it's the same thing. You don't want it to be caked on. You just want a th very thin layer on your spoon. Obviously, I didn't show you guys that here. Maybe for another uh, video when I'm making sauces, I'll show you that. So over here, we're just going to do some knife skills. We're going to just split the strawberry over here so we can fan it out uh, very nicely. And later on, you will see that I end up removing the green parts. Sometimes I like to keep them on just for a balance of color, you know, green pop. Um, in savory dishes, you know, we like to always throw parsley, although that is dated. But no minding. We're rambling now. Hold on. Now, this over here, obviously, you don't need to peel a banana like it's a plantain, but you do want to keep half of it in the skin just because it's easier to pick up and clean up afterwards, and we're going to use these in parts of three. Not only that, let's say you didn't use the whole thing, you can always just wrap it up in the skin. It'll stop it from oxidizing as fast. All right, don't mind my pen. Obviously, I give it some work. So you want to layer this in a circular fashion i start off with the outer rim so that the uh batter begins to pull down to this towards the center and then i can just spread finish spreading it around afterwards the heat is on medium low you want to make sure that you don't have too much color going on on these depending on which style crepes you're doing whether it's the french or you want to go to the southeast asian side uh the french ones usually are paler from what i remember in class versus the Asian ones are crispier, um, and you know, they have their savory ones. Those are delicious, but that's not what we're talking about right now. So I'm going to keep these on the lighter side. Oh, sidebar. Uh, you also want to let this rest for a bit. That's why you start cutting your fruits and your add-ins and all that stuff. Yeah. So now we're ready. All right, cool. So we're gonna take this and we're going to spread it around with our offset spatula. Obviously the smarter thing to do here would be to push it off with another knife so that we don't end up tearing our uh, crepe, but I was good, it's fine. If you don't have one of these, you wanna use a butter knife or you know, you could use, you could use a regular table knife, but you might end up tearing it. So a butter knife works best if you don't have an off offset spatula. And spread 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 don't mind me it's had been a minute before <laughs> i started using my offset spatula again because i don't really focus on desserts my main thing is usually savory dishes because that you can always have so much more fun with but i just got caught up in the moment it's so satisfying to spread <laughs> product so over here i just ended up doing one straight line of banana I'll fold it over and I'll tuck it in even further. What you could do is right before you get to the center of this, you could just line it up there and do your folds as you see. 
coming up right now. Alrighty, so right now we're just gonna plate this up. We're gonna put this dead center. Now normally you would probably use a bigger plate for this, but it's the plate I have, why not? We're gonna drop some strawberries on here. Again, like I said, later on in the photo, you won't see as many of the green parts of the strawberry, just cause I decided to switch it up over. When it comes to plating guys, if you're really into that and all that, you kinda wanna visualize your plate before you begin and your plate gets dirty. Obviously over here for the sake of this video, cause this is my first time, be gentle. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, I was playing around with different plates so you guys can see it, but you'll see later. The, it's still stunning. It's still beautiful. Look at that. I want to eat it. I ate it. I ate it, guys. Anyways, thanks for stopping by.